y'all, Sheree here with Not Sure What's Cooking. Well, today I am going to be making a chili chicken pie. Um, you're going to need two cans of chili with, I'm sorry, with beans, okay? You're going to need some chicken strips. Make sure you get the breast, okay? And then um, just, you know, some chicken strips. <laughs> Y'all know what chicken strips are. Okay, and then you're going to need some wonton wraps. All right, so let's get started here on this little baby hair. All right, first of all, let's just put that aside. Um, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350, and then you're going to take one thin one for this size bowl. If, if you've got a bigger one, then, you know, put a couple of them, and it don't matter if they're stacked, you know, on top of each other or not. All right, then after you get that one on the bottom, then go ahead and put them all around the side where they kind of droop over, but they're still touching the bottom too. All right, now get you some chili. Well, I guess y'all know that, huh? But anyway, get you some chili and um, you don't need to put, you're not gonna wanna put a lot, but you wanna put enough to kind of coat the bottom of it, you see? All right, now after you got all your little bowls done, or you can make it in one big dish, but it's better like this because it's like a single serving that you can, um, you know, serve to each individual. All right, you take that chicken. I don't know if y'all can see this, but you just lay that chicken in there just like that. All right, and just, you know, kind of, Put it in there and squish it down just a little bit, not a lot, okay? All right, now get some roasted red bell peppers uh, strips in the jar. If you can't find the ones in the jar, you can use regular ones. Just you're going to have to do one other step by uh, roasting them in the oven or in the skillet, either one or the grill. But anyway, just start spreading those on there. Now this is really to your taste. You decide how many you want on there. All right, now get two green onions and make sure that you uh, wash them really good. Now I've already put one and a half in these right here and really that is to your taste too. All right, now take the rest of that chili and you're gonna put on top. All right, after you get all that done, get that chili in there, get you some um, cheese, some sandwich cheese. Now, if you don't wanna use this or you don't have any, you could use shredded cheese too, and it really don't matter what kind of cheese you use, it's gonna taste good with any kind of cheese, but I'm just using this, all right? And then just put it on top of all of them, just like I showed you right here. All right, next step, after you get that cheese on there, just fold those little flaps down, and if they crack or break, it's, it's completely fine. All right, just fold those little flaps down on top of that cheese, and then get you another thin layer of that wrap, put on top like that. Now, get you one tablespoon of melted butter, and just kind of brush it on there. All right, now, after you get that butter brushed on, what do I use all the time? Parsley. Okay, this is gonna be one of the contest um, questions too, whenever I hit 2,000 uh, subscribers, so y'all remember. Okay, so just sprinkle it on there. All right, now put them all in the oven, and you're gonna bake them uncovered for anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. I'll let you know um, after I take them out. All right, y'all, I baked them uncovered for 20 minutes. Now see how golden brown they are? 
Now I want you to take the lids and go ahead and put on them. And then you're gonna put them back in the oven for about 25 minutes because you wanna get that chicken done. All right, y'all, after you uh, baked it, now I baked mine for 25 minutes. Um, and then I turned the oven off and let them sit in there for, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 minutes because I got busy. But anyway, main thing is to make sure that that chicken is cooked in there. All right, you guys, now this is what it looks like. It's crunchy and yummy. All right, you guys, I've already taken a bite of it. Look how delicious that looks on the inside. It's so moist and cheesy and, oh my gosh, my mouth is just watering, just looking at it and smelling it. And then whenever I took a bite, it's like, I've got to go now because I want to eat this. You will not believe how good this smells. All right, you guys, just remember if you believe it, you can make this. This is a good dinner, you guys. And it's it takes less than an hour to do from start to finish. And I know that's a long time, but sometimes, like I said before, we've got to um, take a little time in cooking and cook a good meal. All right, until next time, be blessed and safe. Bye, y'all.